Hello everybody, my name is Bo Gillings. I'm a product manager with Miller Electric. I'm here with Rich with Rich Rebuilds. He's Thank got you. a cool YouTube show. Rich, tell us a little bit about your YouTube channel. Well, my YouTube channel mostly consists of building all kinds of really strange off-the-wall products. Most recently, we actually built a V8 Tesla, a V8-powered Tesla. Why we did it, I don't know. Probably because it was fun. Yeah, absolutely. How, tell me a little bit more. How'd you get into the V8 Tesla? Well, basically, so the YouTube channel started on mostly me fixing Teslas in general, either crashed or flooded. And then uh, as I was building one, I said to myself, how do I not build the same car over and over again? How do I make things different? So we said, name something no one's ever done before, which is put a V8 engine into a Tesla Model S. And we sure. did that and finished it last year. It was at SEMA. We had a great time. Awesome. Very cool. So how did that transition into welding? What's your welding experience look like? My, uh, my welding experience is still very, very beginner. So uh, I was actually looking for a welder that was very easy to use. And then suddenly here I am with this thing. Um, for the most part, I didn't wasn't really sure how to set uh, wire speed, what settings, what kind of metal to use, and um, did some research online. And I realized that this actually does most of it for you. So awesome. still learning, but once I started using it, I feel like I'm a pro now. Very cool. Let, let's go over a couple features that maybe could help as we look at those ease of use. Sure. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the first feature on the Multimatic 220 ACDC, which is our Quick Tech feature. So if you look at the machine. Over on the left, you've got your process. So right now it's set up for MIG Steel C25. And typically we got people that will go between MIG and TIG. Yep. So I'm going to have you demo this for me. Oh, I love so it. So this is how easy this is. Okay. So reach for the MIG gun. Yep. <clears throat> got it. And then you'll see your uh, TIG foot pedal on the ground. Okay. So right now we're set up on MIG. Go ahead and give a press on that foot pedal. Oh, wow. So it's going to switch over to TIG. Gotcha. It's going to pull up the last settings you had for your tungsten, okay. your material thickness, and your amps. Oh, awesome. So then you'd be ready to start TIG welding. You got your TIG torch. So you could switch back and forth really easily. Absolutely. Oh, so then you awesome. get done with your TIG, your right. TIG process. So right. now go ahead and give a squeeze on the MIG gun. Brings you right, right back over uh, to the MIG. I gotcha. It's going to pull up your wire diameter, yep. your material, and then give you the recommended volts mm -hmm. and wire feed speed. Oh, that's awesome. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. Right. So I'll try it again. Look at this. One, two, one, two. You're a pro already. I, I can do this all day, every day. This yeah. is easy. I like it. Cool, man. So the other feature that's helpful that you mentioned about kind of getting started, yeah. did, was it frustrating when you're trying to remember what's my volts, what's my wire feed speed? Absolutely. So what I would do is, I mean, when I had a, a standard welder, I would kind of drag it across. I'd have no idea what I was doing. There'd be holes and bubbles everywhere. But with this, setting the wire speed made things a lot easier because yeah. all the settings are there for you pretty much. Absolutely. I, I know how frustrating that is when yeah. you're trying to get into those projects quickly. Yes, absolutely. So we have a feature called Auto Set. Right now, okay. Auto Set is on. Okay. So I'm going to shut it off. This is what you typically see on a welder. So it's going to say, you know, it's going to ask you for some information right out of the get-go. What's your volts and wire feed speed that yep. you'd want? Mm -hmm. And a lot of that is based on your wire diameter and gotcha. your material thickness. All right. So, we so took, like a, this is like a manual mode. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we took some of the complexity out of that and said, all right, how do we get users started on their projects quickly? So you just cl simply click on auto set, yep. and then it's going to ask you what process. So right now we're in MIG Steel C25. Yep. And then it will ask, what's your wire diameter and what's your material thickness? Right. So you can go ahead and adjust those. Today at the SEMA show, we get a demo. We're running 030 wire okay. on eighth inch material. So this is what we're using for everybody who comes in the SEMA booth today. We're gonna run uh, the volts at 17.7 and yep. our wire feed speed at uh, 280, 298. Yep, okay. Some people might tweak it, so they might say, I want my wire feed speed to be a oh, little bit higher. So you, so you could still be in auto, but manually like fine tune the other settings while you're still in it. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it gives you some of that freedom and flexibility, right. but still those recommendations on, here's how you get in your project quickly. Gotcha, I understand. Nice. So we'll get you back to that, that recommended setting. You know you're in the recommended setting when those bullseyes come up. Okay, cool. Awesome. 